This is Code.org, and we are doing the food truck class. Cool. What do we got here? Food truck class represents a single food truck that is part of Project Mercury Pastries Food Truck Business. Getting started. Import dessert from the backpack. Here, if you don't have it, we do have it. Backpack dessert. Complete. All right. Now what are we doing? Complete the parameterized constructor. So a parameterized constructor, guys, is the constructor with, well, with parameters. So in dessert, it'd be this one. Complete the parameterized constructor. Use the this keyword to initialize the instant variables and values. Okay, so where? Oh, foodtruck.java. All right, so we have a constructor here. And the only constructor available to us has, well, parameters, right? We have three arguments that we could be passed. Okay. Use the this keyword to initialize the instant variables to the values passed to the parameters. All right. We have owner, dessert, and profit. So if we want the computer to know we're referencing this stuff inside of this class, we can do this.owner equals owner, this dot Oh, I see what they're doing. See how these are worded? These are the identical names of them. So without using this, when this method runs, the computer won't know if I say, and this is done sometimes, but if I say new dessert equals app, maybe, equals new dessert, right? Like this, the computer has no idea. Okay, okay, so you're making a new food truck. All right, we're going to set up these values. You have owner, new dessert, and profit. They're going to pass something in, all right? So I don't know what. Oh, yeah, Brittany, my dessert, uh, and then $1,280, okay? So they're going to pass in those values. However, they don't know owner's Brittany. If I just do this, so owner was Brittany over here. If I just do this, the computer says, okay, owner's Brittany. Uh, owner equals owner. Okay, Brittany equals Brittany. But really what we want to get at is this owner. And we're using the same name for the parameter here. So to distinguish, to make sure that we, the computer understands we mean the class variable, we use this. And that says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the one that belongs to the whole class, the whole object. This. And then we use dot notation. So this dot profit has to be the one that belongs to the entire class, not just this local one within this method. It's a tricky concept, but it gets a bit easier as time goes on. All right. To pass, yep. Complete the set profit method. Use the this keyword to set the profit instance variable. Okay. So here's the profit instance variable to the value to the value passed to the parameter. So we need to use the this keyword, where's set profit? Set profit, alrighty. So I need to use the this keyword, and notice again, guys, in this method, they use the word profit right here. Problem being, we use profit there. So in order for the computer to know we don't mean the local one, we don't mean the one the user passes to this, we have to say this dot profit would be equal to profit. All right, so now the computer knows this dot profit, it has to be referencing this guy up here. And we're able to set the class variable by using profit here. Complete the set profit method, use the this keyword. Hey, I think we got this. <laughs> this, this, somebody this. All right, and that's all looking good. Let's just run, make sure there's no errors. Brittany, chocolate, $2.99. Brittany, chocolate, yeah. This is looking good. Onward. Ooh, and before I forget, I should go ahead and commit, because I always forget. And boop, and commit. Onward.